Contrary to what you may have heard or read, WCCO is still Minnesota's leading adult radio station. Many advertisers seem most concerned with 25 to 54 year olds, so let's look at that first. WCCO reaches more affluent, well-educated, and well-employed 25 to 54 year olds than any other station. In fact, we're number one in reaching 25 to 54 year old homeowners, college graduates, managers and executives, and heads of affluent households. That's 25 to 54 year old listeners. When it comes to listeners who are 35 and older, WCCO also has no competition, either in number of listeners or in quality of audience. During Morning Drive, our 35 plus audience is more than twice that of our nearest competitor. Our Afternoon Drive audience is more than two and one half times our nearest competitor. In the evenings, we're three and a half times bigger. And on the weekends, our dominance continues. We're number one with these listeners because these are the ones we're trying hardest to reach. Every radio station has a target audience, and we target the 35-plus audience because, quite simply, that's where the real spenders are. According to a recent major study commissioned by CBS, middle-aged adults have higher household incomes, spend more on packaged goods, and buy more product than younger adults. The study went on to say that the continued aging of the population suggests that marketers need to reevaluate their targeting strategies. The study concluded that the middle-aged market represents the greatest maximum opportunity for advertisers. That's the audience the WCCO delivers. In fact, 92% of our listeners are 35 and older. When you look at it this way, you can see why we're not afraid to tell advertisers that the audience WCCO delivers is the best audience. There's much more to WCCO than demographics, ratings, and commercials. At the very heart of WCCO is community service. For 70 years now, we've been present in the community in both big and small ways. Every day we recognize a good neighbor for service to his or her community. For Les Weber of Winthrop, Minnesota, right there. Every fall, we salute Minnesota agriculture by visiting a rural community and broadcasting live on Farm City Day. Thank you very much, you were fantastic. Each Christmas, we commit our resources to Santa Anonymous and Little Red Stocky. Our recent WCCO Fall Classic brought the game back to fans who were starved for it. But more important, we raised trucks of food for area food shelves along with financial support for the Children's Miracle Network. The WCCO Dream Home Project recently raised more than $120,000 for Project in Pride for Living and Habitat for Humanity. Can you imagine any other local radio station being able to raise so much money for such a worthy cause? It's work like this that has resulted in two successive National Community Service Awards from the National Broadcast Association for Community Affairs and the prestigious Crystal Award from the National Association of Broadcasters. 70 years. That's a long time for any organization to be number one. But we're not ready to concede our position to anyone. We know exactly what we need to do. We need to continue to be there first with the news. Showing some winds gusting of 40 to We have to keep our ever vigilant watch on the weather. I'm asking you to go to your phones and give me a call at 989 WCCO. We have to continue to make sure that issues are openly and fairly discussed. We must continue to be the best public servant and we must work hard at being an even better neighbor. Puckett swings and hits a blast! Deep left center, way back, way back! We have to keep making our listeners feel like they're right there in the ballpark. We have to continue to have fun and entertain our listeners. Much has changed in the last 70 years, but our greatest strength has always been that we've changed with the times, always meeting the evolving needs of our listeners 
and our advertisers. We're going to keep doing that, keep changing, growing, and evolving so that we can be Minnesota's best station beyond the year 2000, just like we are today. That's not just our goal. It's our commitment. Sure, we take great pride in what we've accomplished in 70 years. After all, in the last four years, we've won three Marconi Awards for being the best radio station of our kind in America. No other local radio station can make that claim. But now that we've celebrated this significant anniversary, we're through looking back. We're looking only to the future. Sure, we've had a great first 70 years, but we're just getting started.